Hi, Todd here from Urban Sound Studio, and today we're going to take a look at using Contact within Logic Pro. If you're using a new instance of Contact every time you add an instrument, you're not taking advantage of all that Contact has to offer. So we're going to take a look at how to set up Contact as a multi-timbral or multi timbral instrument within Logic, and also as a multi-output so that you can mix and add effects to your instruments within Contact. So let's dive on in and see how to get started with our workflow. I see a lot of people using Contact only as a stereo instance. Let's start that way, and we'll load four instances of Contact by putting four in our number of tracks. At first, everything seems okay. I could label my tracks, drums, funk guitar, bass, keys. And as you see, I have four tracks at the bottom. I could go into Contact and I could load each one of these instruments. The only problem here is by having four instances of Contact, it's putting a lot more of the load on your CPU. So let's check out a more efficient way. This time we'll set up a multi-timbral instance of Contact. We'll still load a stereo instance, but underneath the instrument, check multi-timbral four parts. And we only need to create one track count. At first, everything appears fine. It looks like there's four tracks, and we could go ahead and name these. And on the left hand side, you could see that each one of our tracks is assigned to a different MIDI channel. Let's load in our instruments. We'll close our browser. And as you look at each contact instrument, you could see that each one is assigned to a different MIDI channel. There's one last step. Let's open our outputs tab and we need to go to batch functions and clear output selection and create an individual channel for each instrument selected. This will allow us to create a mixer within Contact. Now you'll instantly see a problem if you try to use the mixer within Logic, and that is that the fader will control all instruments. So will our pan, so will the solo and mute. So in the case of using Contact as a multi-timbral instrument, be sure to use the mixer within Contact. But there's still yet another option, which is to set up Contact as a multi-output instrument. This time, instead of stereo, we'll create a multi-output instance of Contact, and we'll go to multi-output 16 times stereo. And this time, be sure to check the box that says multi-timbral four parts. Once again, we'll put in our track names. But now on the mixer, we have the option to hit this plus tab. This will create three additional aux tracks which allow us to mix the contact instruments. Let's close our browser, and let's clean up our window even more by clicking on the icon on the left-hand side of each instrument. Once again, don't forget to go to your outputs and select your batch function. Now you do get some individual fader control, but the problem is you only get this within the mixer. And instrument one, your first instrument, actually has control over all of the different instruments. And in the arrangement view, none of these actually work properly. And you see that the names don't carry over either into the mixer. Even more of a problem with this solution is that you can't automate any of these tracks without creating an additional automation lane track. So let's look at one last option, which I think is really the best. Once again, we'll create a multi-output 16 times stereo, but this time do not create multi-timbral parts. Uncheck that box. Now it looks like we have a problem, but Go to the bottom of the mixer, click the plus sign, and then put the names of your tracks on each of those lanes. Once you do, right click each of the tracks and go to create track. By doing this, you'll take the information from the mixer and put it up into the arrangement window. This now gives you control over the volume, the pan, the solo, mute, and automation between both the mixer and arrangement window. Now that we added our instruments and some colors, let's see what this sounds like. We even have the ability to put plugins on each of the channels. And automation becomes as easy as using a standalone stereo instance of contact or an audio track. Just select the type of automation you'd like, 
So in this case, we'll do it on our funk guitar track. And we'll draw in some volume automation. I hope this helps show you some of the differences between a multi-timbral and a multi-output instance of contact.